Alright, so before I get into the video, I want to tell you guys that I'm going to be leaving in the description box a link to a really cool music video by Travis Scott. Maybe some of you guys will be interested. I just thought maybe I'd share that with you. Um, it's really, really cool. So anyways, um, to start off this trick, let's say we have the spectator pick a number 10 through 20. Um, and let's say they wanted to pick a number like 15. So they could have picked any number they wanted to. They picked 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So uh, we're going to take 1 and 5, okay, the numbers that are involved in 15, and we're going to add those together to get 6. So uh, this number would have been different if you would have picked a different number from the beginning. So like I said, this is completely random. And let's say we have uh, the sum of 1 and 5. So we have 1, 2, 3. Four, five, and the sixth card here. As we can see, we have the ace of spades. And I'm going to go ahead over to the box on the right. We have a prediction, and let's open it up. And you guys can see we have the ace of spades. So this is the video. This is the trick, guys. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right. So all you have to do in order to do this trick is just get, I guess, like a sheet of paper or something to write a prediction in. Fold that up, whatever card you want, you can write the name of it. You're gonna fold that up and save that for later. So let's say you stick the box off to the side. The next thing you do is you take the card that you are going to force here. In this case, I just put the ace of spades and you're going to put that 10th from the top. So you stick this here and then you take nine cards. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and you stick this packet on top and that is going to be the setup for the trick so then from here what you want to do is you can do a couple of fake cuts or something i'm going to leave the link so you guys can learn that and then i guess you can also take the cards and just kind of break it off into groups whatever you want to do in order to not mix up the deck but kind of give it the illusion that the cards are indeed getting mixed up you're going to do that and then you can go up to the spectator and tell them and you kind of casually just say all right so i'm going to have you pick a number um, any number, let's say between like 10 and 20. So you kind of make it casual so it's not like you're only giving them the option to go from 10 and 20. Um, so let's say they were to pick any number between 10 and 20. Let's say they picked a number like 13. What you're going to do is you're going to count out 13 cards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And now at this point, you are set up for the trick and all you have to do is add 1 and 3 to get Four. So, like I said, this would this would work uh, with any of the numbers between 10 and 20. And at this point, you tell the spectators as well that they could have picked any number, and the sum would have been different for those numbers. So, from uh, number 13, they're going to be at number four. So you go one, two, three, and the fourth card here is going to be the forced card. And then you open up the box and show them the prediction. So this is the trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to stick around. Uh, I mean, click on the link in the description if you guys are interested. And let me know how you guys liked it. So now for real, I uh, hope you guys liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.